All right, guys. So the next step of the process for rifle loading is to is to deburr and chamfer the case. Since you have this little ridge here, obviously it isn't going to seat good inside inside the chamber and stuff because it's got that ridge. Wish I could get it to focus, but oh well. You can see it's got a big ridge around it. It's real flat there because of me trimming it. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, you can buy this chamfering slash deburring tool from. I don't know, this one's RB, RCBS. A lot of different companies have different variations of this, but basically this grinds the inside of the mouth of the case and this does the outside. And I think, I think this tool covers from, yeah, it says from 17 to 45 calibers. So this covers a pretty wide range here. Unless you're loading 50 BMG, this will do. So um, you can either do this by hand and you can spin this in here and then spin the outside here. But what I've actually chosen to do, it's a much more efficient way is to go ahead and cough up a hundred bucks and get the RCBS trim mate that you see here. It has these spots where you can fit anything with, I think they're quarter inch threads, but forget the exact measurement. But if you buy a Lyman kit, a Lyman uh, case prep tool kit, let me see if I have it over here. Yeah. If you buy this case prep kit, it's like $20. You can get it at a, I think I got this one at Cabela's. But these threads are the exact same threads that are on here. And as you see, when you turn this on, it'll spin them for you. So it speeds the process up a lot if you want to, um, you know, flush your primer pockets, whatever, remove military cramp, whatever. Um, and these, that's that's the best way to do it is to use this machine. It's just much, much quicker, much more efficient. I used to do it by hand, and it's really hard on my wrist. So basically, turn it on. I get the inside fairly cleaned up. I'm going to do the outer part here. Maybe go back and do a little bit, but I usually just do it like that to where... The flat part's gone and you have a nice a nice edge right here for the bullet to seat in. You want it to be a very, very smooth seating. As you see with it smoother in there, the bullet's gonna be easier to seat in this case whenever you're you know you charge and, and do whatever and seat the bullet. So that's the the main thing right there that you want to do. So you can do this by hand too, but it's much quicker with this. As you can see, it took me like a second to do that. Um, so that's, that's definitely um, a step in here that you want to do. Um, I would just go ahead and spend the $100 and get this because it also includes all these other things. You can put uh, any sort of case loop here if you want to run it through through brushes and clean the inside. But um, this is for basic rifle loading, so I'm going to keep it basic. I don't do all those extra steps. But anyway, I'll move on to the next step and get back to you all.